role models for youngsters. This is what David Popovich especially, but also Robert Glinza are. Because, why is swimming important? Swimming is not a sport you can watch on TV because you cannot see very good. From, from this standpoint, I am not condemning any of the guys from, uh, um, from TVR. I uh, didn't forecast it. But uh, comparing to football, swimming is more powerful in terms of educating the people that matter. Because if children will see uh, David Popovich, for example, at 17 years winning two world championships, they will become, they want to go to swim. Of course, not all of them will become world champions. Champions. Uh, most of them will not, will not uh, do swimming as a performance because it's not easy to, to, to swim as a performer. To be a professional swimmer, you need to train maybe six to eight hours a day for a few minutes of competition, and it's not very fun, maybe for, for most of the people, for David Popovich it is, but regardless, even though you will not be um, doing world-class or European-class or Balkanic-class swimming, mo many people, many children especially, would want to go to swim. To learn to swim and to swim and swimming guys it is one of the most complex and healthy sports for everybody and i'm telling you even though i'm mainly a runner right now run running is the easiest and most comfortable sport to be practiced everywhere but i've swam from age 12 quite late on i've started to learn and to swim and swim, but I have tens, maybe hundreds of kilometers swim in the, the pool. I'm not a great swimmer, but I can. I have uh, stamina, I have endurance, endurance. So I'm, uh, I'm preparing to, to swim five kilometers soon enough. I will post about that. So going back to this, swimming has a lot of benefits. In life is far better to know how to swim than to know how to play football because basically football can play anybody can play, can play. Uh, because you see the national football team of Romania every national football team they don't know football they cannot play proper football but they are still classified as football professionals so yep you don't need to to know basically how to uh, play football to actually play football it's a paradox but it is the truth in, uh, in other words you cannot take swimming because if you don't know how to swim you might drown so this is the difference and the muscles are very worked by swimming and the joints are quite uh, protected because you are not uh, putting pressure on them you are using all your or muscles muscles of course the joints have a use in swimming but you are not forcing them like in other sports like in most sports so uh, for muscle growth, for uh, growing in height, and for everything, especially at the beginning of life, don't forget that David Popovich started swimming at four years because the doctors told his parents that he should because he has a scoliosis. So he started learning how to swim, swimming, and of course he, he reached uh, the top performance. I hope I, I made I made it clear. I'm tr I'm uh, s uh, speaking here in English to extend this message uh, worldwide as as highly as possible. I can say also I've heard some interviews with David Popovich in English. He is speaking brilliant English. So you you have a lot to take away from him. Believe me. So this is the point why I advise, even though when it's this kind of competition, uh, especially it involves David Popovich, uh, draw away every football match, even though it will be the World Cup or something. Nobody really cares. 
Romanians that watch football most like mostly watch also last year teams or other garbage like these. So, yep, swimming is good. Trust me, it's good for your health. It's good for your body, for your mental health, and so on. Bye.